Welcome back, Juicy Sports Nation fans. If you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you can see when my videos are coming out. And also, I would love for you to leave a message if you agree or disagree. I would like to know how you feel. With that being said, let's get to the dumb stuff here. Now, I want to talk about this article I ran across on Dance Hall Mag. Jamaicans not pleased with Nike's support of the island's Olympic athletes. Now, we all know there was a lot of controversy with Shikari Richardson with the Olympics in her marijuana use, which, you know, everybody said their opinion about that. But what everybody's talking about now is the return of Shikari Richardson and, and how horribly she performed on that race. But it was a lot of controversy, but I want to go through this article. So Jamaicans and other track and field fans are expressing their grouse online and threatening to boycott the night brand unless they showed due respect to Olympian champions and the fastest woman in the world, Elaine Thompson. Now, Thompson, who signed a professional contract with the American sportswear giant in 2016, posted the second fastest woman 100 meter time in history at the Eugene Diamond League competition on Saturday. She also successfully defended her 100 meter and 200 meter Olympic titles at the recently concluded Tokyo 2020 games. There was actually a series of tweets by uh, media personality Debbie Bassoon. And this is all kickstarted the tension between Nike and Jamaican social media users. Bassoon tweeted, Hey, at Nike, I know I'm just one person, but I'm not buying another Nike anything until you do right by hashtag fast Elaine. Not even a congratulatory post on your IG. I hope you are currently working on something with her. Now this tweet quickly got thousands of shares and retweet and both Twitter and Instagram from people all over the world. Now that's the one of the things about social media. You can be one person and you can start a move very quickly. So this came after Nike releases an ad with Shikari Richardson to promote her comeback to Eugene Diamond League. At the same track, Elaine Thompson in a world leading time came first. Shelly Ann Fraser Price came second and, Sha and Shakira Jackson placed third replicating their 1-2-3 Tokyo Olympic victory. Now leading up to the race, the Diamond League organizers were soft promoting Richardson alongside the Jamaican athletes. She was introduced as the sixth fastest woman and was asked to join the Olympic champions on stage at a press conference. Let me school some of you guys from Jamaica and abroad about business. See, Shikari Richardson is a big deal. She knows how to market herself, like it or not. It doesn't matter what happens. It could be good or bad. The fact of the matter is people are watching. And usually people in the long run will forget why they don't like you. But now you're a brand. It's all publicity. It's all marketing. And of course, Nike's going to use somebody that they don't have to put the advertising dollars behind. Shikari Richardson has 2 million subscribers on Instagram, 2 million followers on there. She is killing it with the platforms. So, of course, Nike is going to support her. Obviously, they gave her money, too. I don't know how much money they gave her. I have to look that up. Shikari Richardson is a huge deal right now. See, a lot of people think life is supposed to be fair. It's not fair. Life is not fair. Life is what you negotiate. It'll never be fair. If you put any policies in place, someone's going to suffer from those policies. There's nothing you could do. 
I had an opportunity to make it to the NBA, which I thought. But guess what? I'm not 6'9", like LeBron James, and I'm not as good as LeBron James. Life is just not fair. So, with that being said, much as I don't like Shikari, the way she carry herself, she is marketing herself. Everything she's doing, she is making money. People, she's building her brand. A lot of people said that she was arrogant on her statement when she lost, but that is marketing. People think sports is just sport. It's not sports. It is a TV show. When, when they look at the ratings of every show, you'll see, let's say, Graves Anatomy right next to an NBA game. So with that being said, the producers of the show, let's say NBC, if they're running the Olympics, they're only going to play what they think most people are going to watch. It's the same way with us YouTubers. We do videos what people was going to watch. At least we try to, because it doesn't matter what we want to put on here. It's a matter of what the consumers want. With that being said, yes, I do think that Elaine Thompson, the fastest woman runner in the world from Jamaica, should receive some endorsements. However, she don't have a big following. No one knows her. On Instagram, she got less than 400,000 followers. How can someone market that? Shelly Ann Frazier, the one who gave her that look, walking by, less than 400 followers. In the third place, Sherika Jackson. She has 80,000 subscribers. Jamaica is, is a small island. There's about 2 million people there. There's more people in Pennsylvania than there are in Jamaica. Not a shot on Jamaica, but it's about marketing. Shakira Richardson, we didn't know who she was until she ran up in that stage when she broke a record. She ran up in the crowd and gave her family a hug and told them, told everybody that her mother just passed. That's a storyline. You need a protagonist and antagonist. Muhammad Ali wasn't making money in boxing until he started saying he was the greatest into the media. Sometimes you have to market yourself and then they will come. Look at how music is today. Back in the day, you could get a contract. You could go up there and freestyle. But guess what? You get that 360 deal. Because they got to do all the work. P. Diddy, if P. Diddy has to make your music, find a producer, get some people on there that has credibility. Like, uh, let's look at it when 112 came out. No one knew 112. So, of course, you're not going to get paid. They're going to give you a million dollar contract. And they're not going to give you any money. They're going to pay you every day. Because you have to pay them back. And then you don't have any credibility, right? So, what did he have to do? He had to put... Biggie Smalls on the record so people would listen. That's all I'm saying. These women in Jamaica are not big. No one knows their name, but they know Shakira Richardson. She is right now, what I would say, a master promoter in her brand. That's what you need to focus on. You need to focus on your brand and then the money will come in the notoriety. You're already the best and the fastest in the league. You got to believe life is not fear. So with that being said, Shakira Richardson deserves everything she's getting because she is very marketable right now. Tell me what you think about this video. Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? I would love to get your opinion on this video and I will see you on the next one.